today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup tutorial. So I don't necessarily wear this look every day, but this is what I do if I do have enough time. I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's get right into it. So to start off my makeup routine, I'm using this moisturizer from The Body Shop. It's the Aloe Soothing Day Cream for Sensitive Skin. And I'm just going to grab some and dab it on my forehead, nose, cheeks, chin, and just blend that all out using my ring and four fingers. Okay, and then I, I'm using my Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. So I actually bought this product in the summer, so it's a little bit dark for my skin, so I just grab some, put it on my hand, and I grab a bit of my concealer, which is in a lighter shade, and I grab some of that, and I put that on my hand, and I just kind of mix the two products because I don't really want to waste this foundation, it's pretty good. And I'm just going to go over my face, through my eyes. And I actually just use my fingers to blend everything. I actually find it works better than a brush because like, I, can, I feel like I can control my motions better. And then I'm just gonna grab my concealer again. This is, oh, by the way, it's wet and wild. Okay, so I actually use my concealer to like, use, I use it to kind of contour my face. So I kind of just go down my nose and on my cheekbones right here. And then next up we have, I'm gonna do my contour now. Okay, we just like, this product, I actually really love it. And I've literally used already a third of it. It's the Sculpture by Tarte. So I just go under my cheekbone, starting from the top of my ear. I really like this product because it just kind of glides on your face. I just do about three or four strokes on each side of my face. And then I grab my fingers again and I kind of just dab that in. Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows using this angled brush, and this is the uh, Glam Eyes Quad Eyeshadow in After... It's called Afternoon Tea. I think it's from Maybelline. I literally used it so much, the cover fell off and it's like broken. So this is what I... This color, I use this color for my brows up here. Just load up my brush, and I'm using small strokes. I start usually at the middle of my eyebrow, and it's just kind of good. And of course, I just go back and kind of like fix it up so both of them are symmetrical. Okay, so I don't always do this, but if I do have the time, I'll go ahead and highlight my face. But I already kind of did it with my concealer, so I usually just use this What's Up um, highlighter from Benefit. The packaging is really cute. It's got like little light bulbs all around it. Can I just take that and go over my nose? Just do a very, like a very light hand, and I kind of just blend it out with my finger. I'm gonna grab my eyelash curler. I think this is Revlon, and I really like this. This really fits my eye shape, and I kind of just I do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye. One, two, five. Let me just, sorry, I need to take a moment for this mascara. It's so good. Okay, so I actually got this as a sample, but it's the Shiseido Full Lash Volume Mascara. So this actually, I'm pretty sure it has like those fibers in it. So it actually like just not only like puts like mascara on your lashes, but it actually like lengthens them with the fibers. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And sometimes I use a business card, but right now I'm too many things. So I do one coat on one eye, and then I go ahead and look to the other eye. And then I kind of just go back to this one and just load up the volume. Okay, so this is the Sephora con Contour Eye Pencil. 24 hours wear, and it's waterproof. Which is really great because I'm actually going to work later and I work at a pool, so, so you know, 
and I kind of just draw a wing. I actually don't, just because I have modelers, I actually don't go, I don't do it across my whole eye. I kind of just do the corner up to the middle, if you can see. And it kind of just looks like that. Just going to grab my angle brush again. Sometimes if I'm going for a more natural look, I like to blend out my wings. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please comment and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do next. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!